Yo, what's going on, everybody? Jason Trio here with Bitrio.com. Today is Monday, June 28th, 2021. And yo, what is up with my voice, dog? Just noticed it. <coughs> Ahem. Too much of that sticky icky though, right? Am I right? God damn, bro. It's fucking you up. Yes, the sticky icky. All right, we got some stuff to do today. We got some baby breeds and axes to morph to adults. And I think I got to make a couple more breeds because uh, Ronalyn hit me up. Princess Rome. Princess Romy? Not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but I'm pretty sure that's uh, Van's family. So she hit me up and said that uh, one of her axes isn't really holding it down. Her bug axe isn't holding it down. She needs some more damage. So, uh, you know, with her team, I knew it when I was making that team, and I even said it in the Discord like, yo, just let me know if this bug isn't good enough you know it came out it was one of my breeds and it came out with a uh, serious gerbil jump and i was like damn serious gerbil jump i have it pulled up right here so this little baby here serious gerbil jump you know uh, you know i just wanted this to be something better even might bite would have been good pints are not really good but to get the serious, yeah, that's pretty rough. Pretty rough, pretty hard on damage. So I'm going to replace this Axie. Actually, I'm going to let you keep this Axie. I'm going to build you up towards 40 energy. That's what I want to do with all my scholars. I want to build you guys up to 40, then 60 energy. And just keep it going like that. So I have another antenna bug and I want my form to be bigger. Why is my farm so small? I need my farm to be bigger here. You damn right. You need more axes. But I do have a nice bug to give her. And let you know what? Let me just. Oh no! I gotta breed it. I gotta breed it. All right. I'm gonna breed that bug first. Oh gosh. This breed came out horrible. Oh, jeez. This is what happens sometimes. Oh, my goodness. Why you do me like that? Now, I like 47 health, 47 speed. But gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. A timber, though? Wait, is it okay with 47 health, 47 speed? He's like a bruiser? Oh, come on, bro. I wanted arrow. I wanted turn up. One thing I'm noticing here about Axie breeds is if you want a different part, just mix and match. Now, it didn't hold true on the horn or the tail, <laughs> but it seems like, and I don't know, maybe it's just the roll of the dice, maybe the coin flip, the percentages, but it seems like when you mix and match, when you have two different backs, horns, tails, whatever, you'll get a different part you won't get the one of the parent you'll get a recessive now of course i'm saying that when it only happens with the back and it didn't happen with the horn and it didn't happen with the tail <laughs> yes yes that's what it seems like even if it's not proving me right here okay well that kind of stinks our first Breed reveal coming out crappy. Let's see what Dreadnought and Bulbasaur can do. I didn't name that guy Bulbasaur. Not 100% sure on. Is he Bulbasaur? He kind of is. Right? I got to see how much SLP I have too. Because I just cashed out some scholars. And I might not have any. <laughs> hey, you talking about breeding. You ain't got no love potion. You ain't got no... Uh, push okay this guy is good okay holy shit all right okay well uh this guy on the other hand wow 
Wow, wow, wow. This guy is very good. Max health. Zero cost card. Chomper. With a Vine Dagger combo here. We got the Green Thorns, Vine Dagger combo, and Cactus in the back. This is a backline Axie if I've ever seen one. He's got the Tiny Dino and the Cactus. Now, he does have a weakness. As we all know. As we all do. And that's going to be Gravelant. Gravelant's going to shut this guy down, but it's going to shut the whole family down, I think. This is a nice combo, though. This is a good Axie right here, boy. Oh, damn. Look, look at this, though. So, you never know what's going to happen with Breeds. Look at this. Scar Eyes, double Scar Eyes, had like a 70-80% chance to come out Scar. And he comes out tricky, bro. He's tricky. It's Big Poppy. He's like a Big Poppy. All right, here's what I got to do. So, I got to give Rome, Rosalind, Rony Lynn. I gotta give you an antenna bug. Or just an antenna attacker. Like, do I have any good at high attack antennas? I think I have one that I use on my team all the time. But I'm willing to give it up. All right, it's this one right here. So gain energy or steal energy antenna with discard pincer. That's a good combo. That's what I was looking for. That's why I picked this guy up. Plus Scarab, decent on class move. And then a double nut. So you're having trouble blowing up plant tanks, blowing up tanks. Yeah, I bet you are. I predicted it. But, you know, you trugged through. You 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 proved yourself. You, you did your thing. You didn't complain about your team. You went out there and you actually earned with that team. So, you know, that gains my respect. Doing stuff like that, help yourself, makes me want to help you. If you're just complaining about your team like I had a, a few people just doing, it's like, yo, then bounce then. It's not good enough for you? All right, go go find something good. I'm definitely hooking people up with good teams. But some of the axes, yeah, they might be questionable. But here's what I do. I replace them. Actually, I don't even replace them. I just add to your stack. I add to your axe stash. So now I'm not even going to mess up your PvE. You got PvE, you're still going to have your three leveled up axes. But now you're going to start to be able to have more combinations for PvP. So I'm going to give you this bug to help you out. This is a damage bug. It's going to smack. And also, the good thing about this bug, or it better be fucking the good thing about this bug. It better be. All right. It, so here's the problem making teams. I got to at least make sure the teams are good. So 34 speed, I can't give you this bug if it's going to be the fastest on your team. That's why I gave you this Robin Eye tank plant, hoping that it's the fastest, and I hope it freaking is. 35 speed? Oh, yes! 34 speed. It is! So it'll still work. So 33 speed. Yeah, that's why I, I gave you this one, but unfortunately, it ain't good enough. You're not worthy! That bug's not worthy, but this one is. All right, 34 speed. Let me just double check this. 35 speed. Yes. We're good. All right, we're good with that. Now I just have to find a breeding partner. So I got this all ready to go. Uh, okay, so this beast right here, I, I put this beast up. I had this beast, I used this beast. Zero breeds, I bred this beast. And uh, I put it up for sale, 0.14, I think it was, ETH, and it sold. So I'm good, I'm happy with that. 0.14, you know, it's a good deal for everybody. It's a good beast. I was just afraid to breed it because it's got all this shit. And I'm like, man, you know what? If I get a fucking imp bone sale, fucking Axie, I'm going to be fucking pissed. So I was like, I just can't even. What if I got a beach? I just, yo, I can't even fuck with that. I couldn't even think of it. Like, dude, if I got a, I, you know, I already did. I already got a fucking bone sale imp. And I was freaking sad. I was sad and upset. All right, let's see who breeds with this guy. He's already got two breeds, though. Yo, dog. Calculate. All right, it's not going to calculate for me. Some bitch. Oh, freak titties. Freak titties. This is a good site, but uh, sometimes it does do this. 
It's probably because donations. Ain't nobody donating. Donate to my shit. Bro, you got a shitload of mystics. All right, here we go. All right, so yeah, here's where the series came from. So this is the daddy. Oh, the mommy. Of that previous uh, bug. Scarab hero. And I already bred this dude twice. And I'll tell you what. You're a disappointment. Look how low he is, though. 64,636. He's a low breeder. But his fucking babies are straight disappointment. Look at this. Hero ant. You kidding me? You kidding me with that? <laughs> you kidding me with that combo? Yeah, boy. And then serious gerbil jump. I mean, I just can't. I just can't with that dude. Oh, no. All right. So antenna. We got to breed it with an antenna. You know what would suck? If I breed this with an antenna. And antenna doesn't even come out. I've had that happen before. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm trying to build a farm. Antenna farm. But hey, you know, that 25% chance can come through. All right, I'm looking right here, a two and a two. I'm kind of looking at this guy because he has Kataro in his recessives. I'm kind of feeling that. But I'm also looking at it and I'm thinking mint and pincer. I'm not feeling that. So let's see what the chances are. I mean, with, with the mint, it's probably going to be 37% chance. Oh, it doesn't tell you the percentages? What? I thought it told you the percentages. Oh, you got to mix the two. That's right. You got to mix the two. Right, we got a baby in the background here. Don't be alarmed. There's a baby here. And no, I'm not having another baby. I didn't have another baby. Somebody else's goddamn baby. All right, come on. Freak titties is taking forever to calculate calculations. I guess I'm just going to have to wing it today. Um, so I'm thinking 37% chance mint here. My other option is this three breed dusk. Now this dusk is from Jibberson. Yeah, Jibberson was just giving out dusks like, yo. If you wanted an antenna dusk, 0 0.05. Okay, I'll take that. If you want another antenna dusk, 0 0.07. Big yak. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, yes, I will. Thank you, Jibberson. But three breeds, that's the catch. That's the catch. Let's see. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're in business. You just got to wait, for, wait uh, a little bit for freak titties. You know, freak titties. You want some freak titties? This shit ain't going to be quick. You know, you gotta find that shit. Don't, don't everybody got those. They're not that common. All right, so mint, 37%. Ugh, I would hate... Oh, no, I can't get a mint. Oh, yeah, yeah, 37% pincer. I like the 46% Kataro, though. But trust me, I've bred enough to know that 46%. <laughs> it ain't nothing. It ain't high enough. Even 75%, I'm a little... I'm looking at the recessives like, huh, what could I get here? Uh, because 75% ain't no damn guarantee, dog. No, it ain't. Uh, you know, it would really suck. Uh, a mint. I got a mint pincer. I won't be happy. Let's take a look at this guy and see what he's... I would love a dusk. I mean, imagine if I started a dusk farm. That would be pretty tight. And I wouldn't breed the Kataro with a with a dusk because they're fast. So I'm not I'm not doing that. Plus, I got to give this bug away because uh, she needs uh, a damage bug. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be such a good bug. I use this bug on my team with the reptile in the back. And she's got a plant. You could actually put that. You could actually put this bug in the back. He's got a zero cost card. You could actually put it. I, that's probably what I would do for this team. I would probably put this this plant. This humbug junior, by the way, if y'all don't know, this humbug, humbug junior. And the reason he's humbug junior because he came from humbug senior. This is just humbug right here. Check him out. Exaxes came out. Look, I mean, just the bug, dude. Buzz, buzz. Antenna. And I just, this, this, 
Like, what is he? Is he a mosquito or something? Like, he's got this. That beast tail is crazy on a bug looking <laughs> axy like this. And then the tricky eyes. I mean, the tricky eyes can just go so many different ways and make people look crazy as hell. All right, here we go. Just looking at this right off the bat. We got a slightly better chance. 78% antenna. And I just like this better. I'm just looking at this build and I'm like, okay, I'm feeling better about this. Just because... Oh, but if we get hero pincer, you know, that would piss me off too. It's already happened once with this guy, but whatever. Let's breed him. 750! God damn! Come on now. Hey! That's a lot of potion. Here's our second dude. Oh, he sucks too. Fuck. Yeah. He sucks. All right. What are you going to do? What are you going to do around here? Sometimes your breeds don't come out. All right. What am I looking for here? I got the dust queued up. I got to go to the third page. I do believe. Go to the third page and find our antenna bug. Where are you at? No. All right, it just goes to the second page. Don't worry about it. I didn't type three. Watch, I, I watch it back. I watch the video back and I actually type two. 750, let's breed. I mean, what's it cost now? It's probably like a thousand. Let's breed. How much are you gonna rob me for? Oh, God damn. 1,200. I don't believe this. So it cost me about a hundred and sixty-five bucks to do this at current prices. God damn it. I gotta do it though. See what I do? I gotta do it. See what I do for my scholars? We gotta do this. Make love, not war. We gotta make love, baby. Axie love. All right, cool, cool. So we did that now. We're gonna copy yo Ronin. We copy your Ronin address here. And I will send you your new DPS bug. Your little battle axe, your little damage axe. We're gonna gift it away. How fitting too, right? Player 21. Ooh, player 21. You got 21 million Bitcoin, son. Away! She goes. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. The baby's out here. Okay, so let's take a look at our breeds that we just hatched. Our Axie eggs that just hatched. All right, we got a loser here. Oh, he's a loser. I don't know. Mid Axie. Could he do okay? Maybe, possibly. I don't want to be too harsh on him, but initial thoughts. You suck. This dude is an absolute stud, behemoth, backline axie, ready to wreck face. And this axie just got the terrible tail, you know? I mean, would have been so good. Would have been extremely good with just, I mean, what are you doing here, bro? This is like a 70%, 80% chance to get to Tiny Dino. If this guy had Tiny Dino, he would be a stud. Stud! But he got the flank and smack. Is he good? You know, probably not. But I'm thinking, like, could I just make teams for people? I'm not sure. Like, should I just start making less than ideal teams? I try to make good teams. And then I don't feel right, you know? Like, if the team's not great, I'm like, all right, I got to hook you up. I got to give you somebody else like this. Like, here, bam. Now you got your thing going. Two plants, two bugs. You ready to go. You on your way. Um, you know, maybe I could, maybe I could make, cause there's so many people that are looking for teams and I do want to help out. Maybe I could make something like, I don't know, breed these guys a couple times. They're related. So I can't do that. We'll see. It's going to take time. I got 71 axes or soon to be 72. I got an egg coming. A bug plant egg, a red seed. I got a red seed coming. Here it is. Oh, no, it's a dusk. I didn't choose the plant. Oh, it's invisible. It's invisible. I would love to get a dusk right here. If I could get an antenna dusk right here, 
That would be awesome. And I would love to start like a farm, like a dusk farm. Or an antenna dusk. I mean, that would be sweet. That would be really sweet. My dudes have a lot of breeds because I've been just buying battle axes to play with. And they have a lot of breeds here, as you can see. Four, two, two, three, three, four, two. So that kind of sucks. Uh, this guy, I'm not sure about this guy, actually. Is this guy good? Could this guy be good? A toothless bite with a couple smackers and a snail shell to hold down defense in the front line. I'm thinking, and I was trying this a couple times, of a split tank build. And this guy might actually fit into a split tank build. Where he just chills out and he toothless bites the back line. It has to be a bird or an aqua meta for this to work. Because now with the reptiles or the beast in the back, that's like kind of what we're saying. I don't think it would work as good. But I'm curious about that guy. Should I breed him? There was actually another guy. I think it was John Pritz. Who, unfortunately, rip John Pritz. Rest in peace, John. I don't think you did anything wrong. His account got banned. Him and Danels. I don't think they did anything wrong, but you got to think of it from my perspective. Like, if your account gets banned from the Sky Mavis team or the Axie team, what are they looking at? Like, what's your device doing? I mean, I'm even giving you a benefit of the doubt. Maybe you are cheating, and, and I'm just... A, you know stupid but i'm giving you the benefit of the doubt like nah you ain't cheating i don't think you guys were cheating but what is it with your device you know what is it that you were doing maybe your device was doing maybe people in your house you know using the same device i just can't risk that again you know 60 day ban on the account is is not you know, it's good. It's like, I'm thankful for that. Like, damn, they didn't ban my shit for, you know, forever or for six months or something like that. So I just can't take that, that chance again, but I'm pretty sure John had a dude like this as a main tank. And I wonder how that worked out. I'm curious. And I, I kind of want to make another one like it, but of course, as we all know, if it was serious instead of toothless bite, this guy would be, you know, S tier, S tier. I think snail shell is underrated probably. I haven't looked at any tier lists. I think Z is the one that makes the tier lists. I can make tier lists too, but I think Z had the, the most popular one. And uh, I for, I don't know what how he ranked snail shell. I don't think it was S though. I think it was like A, maybe it was like A tier. I think it's S tier, pumpkin, snail shell, and then, I mean, even Hermit. I like Hermit. I don't think it's S tier, Hermit. It's it's probably like uh, A tier, I think. It's so good versus Beast. I mean, it's just so good. It screws you up against when you're trying to do 31 speed serious. Or even if you're trying to do Kataro, it screws you up. But the benefit, you know, it's probably better on an Aqua that's already fast. Or maybe a Dusk. Or, you know, it's probably best on a healer. So hold up. Rosebud. Because you want your heals to be fast. What's this guy's speed? I don't even think he's that fast. 35? 39? Yeah, this guy's like a tweener, dude. He's like in between. The freaking... Kat <laughs> the Kataro flanking smack. What is that? What even is that combo? What is that? It's like they're at odds against each other. Blank and Smack wants you to be faster and attack first. Kataro wants you to be slower <laughs> and attack last. So that kind of sucks. I don't know about this guy. Maybe I make a T. He's 999-882. I wish he was 999-888. Or 999-999. But we all know who got those. Some very special person. Uh, so am I looking for any breeds? Yeah, I kind of am looking for breeds, but I don't know who to throw together. 
but I think now is the time. Let's take a look at our zero to one breeds and see if we can breed somebody. I got this Kataro here, spicy butt with branch hero Kataro. I mean, this guy, he looks cool to me, but I tried him out. He hasn't been that great. I got this studly of a stud. This is a brew. This is a breed that I bred and it came out like, look at this. <laughs> what? I mean, this came out so good. Antenna, strawberry came out with cactus. Just sick, sick breed right there. I got this bug too. I want to do something with him. Who do I have? I really don't have anybody that I I can know of to breed. I, I was thinking also that I could go crazy and breed this bird, this toothless bite bird with this toothless bite tank and just say, fuck it. I, I do like doing those breeds, the YOLO breeds. I do like it. <laughs> There's something about them. I do like them, but... My worst fear is I get a toothless bite cactus on a bird. And I'm like, oh shit, bruh. You just got a toothless bite cactus on a bird? What is you doing? It's not even good. Like if it was a toothless bite dual blade, I'd be like, hell yeah, let's roll it. I'll take a dual blade on a bird. Hell yes, I will. But a cactus on a bird? Ugh. That's like having a fucking flanking smack <laughs> on this plant. What? Oh, you know what it's like? It's like having that hair dagger on that 33 speed bug that I bought. That's really good. I want that bug to work, but hair dagger on a 33 speed axe is so situational that it's barely ever gonna come through. I do want to breed here, but I just don't know what to do. I don't really have anything that stands out. Oh, you know what? Was I going to do these two? These two repies? I was going to do something with this Axie. Let me take a look. Let me take a look. Let me take a look. <clears throat> what do we got? All right, so we got that bug out of the way. 1,200 smooth love potion. Yo! Oh my goodness, 1200 y'all doing me dirty. I miss the old days when we could breed for one access token. And we were chilling. We were doing good. Man, that was nice. That was like one month or three weeks or two weeks. What was it? It was such a short period of time. Not long ago where we were just chilling. And we were breeding for like, dude, when Ronin first dropped, there might have been some issues. Like, um, I forget, it took it took forever to, to sink over. But man, I was grateful. I was happy. Like, yo, thank you, dev team, for just releasing it and at least giving it to us. Come on, give me this guy's stats. Freak titties. I know there was a lot of people complaining and stuff, but. I was just breathing along like, yup, y'all keep bitching. Just keep this shit open for me. Just breathing along. It was just so good from what we were used to with breeding on the Ethereum network where every breed was a fucking fee, gas fee. And gas fee has been good, dude. Let's look at the gas price. It's been fucking great. I mean, 29, you're looking at that now and you're like, that is kind of high, but yeah, it is. <laughs> it is kind of high. All right, that baby, that baby's getting a little too. Can we, can we smack that baby? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. You ain't getting. What are you, what are you giving her? Oh, all right. Yeah, we're going to have to, this baby. So we're babysitting. A baby. And this baby don't know how we do it around here. Put her in the cage! Come on, baby. We don't be crying around here. No! 
You better get with the program because dudes don't be crying out here. All right, little baby? Not going to be mean to you. But we going to set you straight. We going to set this baby straight. Put her in a cage. Put her in jail. That's time out. Been a while since I had a little baby like this. And uh, <laughs> man, you know, I don't know, you know, if you ever had kids, you know what I'm talking about. But when they're first babies for like, I don't know, a few years, at least you got to just be on them. You just got to watch them like every second. They're getting into shit they're crying or bitching or clingy as fuck needs attention. All that shit. And of course, it's your baby. You know, you love your baby, but God damn, son. The fuck? Sometimes you just be saying that. I need some fucking peace. Hey, quiet. Try to make a fucking video, baby. But who knows? Maybe, you know, maybe it adds to the music. Or maybe you really can't hear it in the background. I don't know. But I can fucking hear it. I don't want to hear it. Alright, so we got that Reppy, you know. I was thinking this Reppy here. Maybe I save it though. Maybe my dust comes out and I save this Reppy. Breeding is just fun. You know, I just want to fucking breed. It's fun as hell to breed. I got this guy too, Graveling and Kestrel. But I'm indecisive right now with my breeds. Oh, here it is. This is what I was going to do. I was going to breed this guy. You know what? Fuck it, right? Let's roll. Let's do this shit. Let's take a look and see what it is, and then we about to do shit. Let's do this damn thing. I was about to do this. This was for the one millionth Axie. I was gonna breed these guys. But somebody had written a script or something. You know the story! Somebody had written a script, met a mask, and was like, uh, all you pleb finger clickers, all y'all using the UI, Nah, I'm about to just zip on through in the back end. <laughs> and that's what I was talking about, too. So you got Freak Titties, this website. This is kind of on the back end. You know, I don't know what it does, but it pulls people's stats and pulls people's recessives and genes and puts them together. And it gives you a tool to use. You know, we don't really want to stifle that. We don't, we don't want people to not do that. We want people to do it. So it's like... It's like, where do you draw the line? You know, that's a tough one. It is a tough one because you want innovation to, for people to make tools like this and be coding on the back end. But you don't want to really screw everybody else that's, a, uh, that's not really coding inclined or whatever it is. All right, so my initial looks at this breed, I like it. This looks good. And I think if we can... We're gonna do it twice. We're gonna do it two times. Roll it two, baby. Alright, who is it? These guys. Let's go. Let's breed. 150. What's the next one? 300? I think I have enough. We're gonna roll it. We're gonna get a couple breeds out here. Alright, so this one's like 50 bucks, something like that. Goddamn. So we'll breed a couple of these, and this is actually Van's uh, baby. Came from Van's. This actually, I did this come from Ericsson? I think this came from Ericsson and Van's right here. Is that who this came from? Oh, I'm on the wrong one. Interesting, look at this guy. Very interesting. If he would've got scaly, yeah, I think he did. He came from uh, Ericsson and Van's. All right, let's try to breed it again, see if we can. 600 oh do we have enough gonna be close 685 we do well would you look at that all right this one's like 90 dollars oh god damn this is good though because it's expensive to breed yeah you know it kind of sucks if you're breeding but it's good as a whole because it keeps the price up you know we're playing to earn if the thing that we were earning smooth love potion wasn't worth shit then it wouldn't be good. You wouldn't be earning. So there's a balance there. You need people like me and other people that are going to be willing to breed that need these potions to breed. And believe me, there's people that are way crazier than me breeding all types of crazy. 
But you need that so that the earn earning potential is there. Axie's one of a kind, dude. I mean, they're putting things together. I hope it can keep going. I hope we can all keep playing and earning for years to come. I mean, just imagine if you could just keep playing, earning years to come, building up your collection, getting up to 40, 60 energy, just earning more and more and more. And this is what you do. Like, you don't have to worry about going out, getting a fucking day job. You just come and you play this. And maybe you play another game. You know, I'm looking into other games too. But I haven't been able to find anything that can match Axie. I mean, it's really crazy. It really is something special. And hey, I'm happy. I'm grateful to be a part of this. To be honest. I really am grateful to be a part of this. I hope it lasts for years. I mean, that would be insane. That would be great. How awesome would that be? And I'm counting on it, you know? I, I'm I'm in it. I'm in it for the long term, you know? I'm here to make this shit work, to be a part of the community, to be a part of the player base, to just be a part of whatever it is. To make that money! Just to play to earn, you know? It's a whole new thing. And Axie's the first and best right now in the play to earn space i mean I, i'll dare to say i'll dare to say this and this this might sound crazy to some people and to others it'll probably be like yeah no shit i i agree i'll dare to say that axie is not only the best in the play to earn space axie is the only in the play to earn space that's a strong statement but I think it's fucking true, man. I mean, tsh, I've been around and I've been looking and I've been trying and playing and stuff. And yeah, you can earn like peanuts other places. But Axie is actually turning a real play to earn ecosystem over here. I mean, they got this shit really fucking popping. Let's refresh this. What the fuck's refresh? F5? Don't fuck it up. Yeah, F5. All right. I keep forgetting F5. F5, refresh. F11, full screen. All right, two red. Oh, they are cute. Look at these eggs. Two baby reptiles. There it is. A sight to behold. All right, well, you know what? We got some stuff done today. We got Rosalind, her bug. We made a breed on that bug with the dusk. We cracked a few breeds and we bred two more reppies. So when will I have these? July 3rd. All right, that's not bad. July 3rd. That's a Saturday. All right, I'll make a video. So on the 5th of Monday, you guys will see the results. All right, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Later.